Welcome back guys, the TCU Horn Frogs are at home to take on the struggling Kansas Jayhawks sitting at 3-4, TCU is 6-1, ranked 12, 42.7 points per game, 4th in the nation, Kansas is having a tough time this year, coming off 2 losses against Marshall and West Virginia, TCU is coming off 3 straight wins and a comeback win, exciting game against Texas. Darling for Kansas has 19 touchdowns, 6 interceptions, Spencer is averaging 75 yards a game, almost 76 for Kansas, and Hicks is averaging 134 yards per game, Tyler Matthews 26 touchdowns, 8 interceptions, and Deontay Gray averaging around 94 yards per game through the air, and we have some visiting prospects, it's going to be exciting, let's see what they do today, they are back at home. And they have three five stars visiting, a five star wide receiver, a center, and a guard. No walkers looking to make a good impression on, on the prospects and hoping that they sign with TCU, who's ranked third in passing offense and 29th in rushing offense. No walker has a great team going, much different from last year. They were dominant in the run game, and the passing game just was enough to get it done. But this year, they have the third ranked passing offense. That's thanks to Tyler Matthews, who's just been killing it. But he has been struggling. We can't ignore his struggles. For the past previous two games, he's been struggling in the first half against Iowa State and Texas. And because of his struggles against Texas, the team fell behind. They really had to step it up, and they were down 31-7. to He came back to win that one on a field goal. And there is Darling getting sacked by TCU's defensive line, and they have been feasting all season. Joseph Nopum with a sack. Third and 14. Darling good protection and is deflected by Ken Gunn and his defense has a strong start to this game. There he is, Tyler Matthews, 305 yards, 4 touchdowns, 20 of 28. And now it looks good from there but it started very terrible. Hopefully he can make up for that and there he is connecting to, connecting with Listen B for 8 yards and a first down. We're not in motion, 3rd and 3, he's going to hand it off to Hicks who gets enough for the first down before he's brought down. Six yards, first and ten, that picks in motion. Taylor gets the handoff, and he has been shown to be tough to bring down. He picks up eight yards. He's going to hand it off to Hicks on second and two, and he gets more than necessary for the first down. Third and 14. Let's see what Matthews can do here, and he avoids the sack, gets rid of it just in time, brings on fourth down. Are they going to kick it? They will kick it. And here's Parker, freshman kicker, and he does get it. And TCU puts points on the board first. For studio updates, Texas Tech upsets Oklahoma big time. 41 to 14, Oklahoma falls to 6 and 2. And TCU will face Texas Tech later in the season. And there is Darling connected, connecting with Everett. He's blown up after a 14 yard gain and a first down. First and 10. Darling's gonna run for it. Scrambles. He avoids one sack, but he's brought down for a sack and that's Tevin Lawson and you notice the alternate jerseys for Kansas thanks to the revamped team and there is Spencer stiff arming his way for 16 yards and a first down around midfield now there's Darlin good protection and he throws it and he gets picked off by TCU's Brig he's gonna run it back he's past the 40 and he's brought out around the 41 First turnover of the game, and it's by Kansas. That's going to end the first quarter. It's 3-0. to zero. TCU, No Walker in general, has known to have a slow start to his team's offense, but they do eventually and have been known through his history with the teams he's been with to kick it off in the second half of the game. And there's Matthews missing a wide open Deontay Gray. I don't know if it's because of the rain, the ball slipped, or what happened, but they're going to go for it on fourth. And here's Matthews. Going deeper down backfield, and he connects with Deontay Gray for the first down. 16 yards, Gray's in motion, third and eight, and he connects with Listen B on this one, and he's brought out around the 21-yard line, second and 10 on the play action, and he gets brought down for a sack. It's a loss of five. Tyler Matthews, Dominic Beck with his first sack of the game, third and 15. The protection, and nearly picked off by Tevin Shaw. Luckily, he's able to not hold on to that one for TCU. They're going to go for it. They don't think they're in their kicker's range. And here's Matthews to a wide open Deontay Gray. He's in the end zone for a touchdown. 27 touchdowns for the season for Tyler Matthews. And it was to Deontay Gray. I believe he tied the record. He gets another touchdown and he breaks the record. And here is... 
Second and forward, hands off to Spencer, and he has some speed on him. He's caught from behind, picking up the first down though. Third and five. Pressure is coming, and he throws it, and he's able to hold on to it. Hyman holds on to it for the first down. They're in TCU territory, and avoids the sack, and he connects with Everett. 17 yards and a first down, second and 10. And he completes the screen pass, the defender got lost, and Hyman does enough to get the first down. Second and goal, they're inside the red zone, almost inside the 10 here. Spencer getting the blocking he needs. Is he gonna get into the end zone? Yes, he does. And Kansas scores. Colin Spencer. We are midway through the second quarter and we have a three point game as Kansas kicking it off. Deontay Gray will be the return man. He's going to bring it out past the 20. He gets great blocking. No one's in front of him. Is he going to return this one all the way for a return? Inside the five, inside the end zone. 96 yard return for Deontay Gray. And he has been blossoming as a returner in this part of the season. He has been doing very, very well. And here's Darling he avoids the sack. He throws it and he receiver can't hold on to it. And that's going to give the ball back to TCU with 2.47 on the clock in the second quarter. And it's a wide open. This will be right up the middle. 45 yards. Matthews on the play action and he's going to connect with Burnett. He gets the first down and just a yard short of the end zone. First and goal in the pistol formation. He's going to hand it off to Hicks on the option and Hicks runs it in for a touchdown. And TCU continues to build on their lead. Hicks adding to his touchdown total for the season. Second and 12. Two minutes to go in the second quarter. Kansas looking to score. And he throws it behind him. And it's a fumble. And Tommy Miller will fall on it. The defense didn't have to do much there. I don't know what happened with Darling. But he threw it backwards. That's going to count as a fumble. And the star defensive lineman for TCU picks it up. Second and eight. Here's Matthews. And he scores a touchdown connecting with Bryson Burnett. And that breaks the touchdown record for the season. Tyler Matthews has 28 touchdowns. Besting a 2010 record of 27. And TCU is up big. 31 to 7. Under two minutes left to go for Kansas. And he gets brought down by Tommy Miller for a sack. Loss of nine yards. Second and 19. TCU wants to get the ball back, see if they can score, and he connects with Everett for 11 yards, third and seven. Let's see if Kansas can convert this one, and they do connect with Everett, stopping the clock momentarily, 53 seconds left to go, it's third and inches, there's Darling, and it's deflected, defensive line was able to deflect that one, it's going to bring on fourth down, he's going to kick it to Deontay Gray, let's see, he is a scary returner now at this point. And there he is getting good blocking and he brings it out to around the 45 to 47. Second and 10 and he's trying to avoid the sack but they're right in his face. That's a loss of 9. They call a timeout. Third and 19. Let's see if they can salvage this drive and get some points. Here's Matthews connecting with Cooper, and he gets enough for the first down. And TCU may be able to put up some points. Echo Zuper in motion. Matthews connecting with Gray for a first down. They do get it stopping the clock just enough. First and 10. Here's Matthews. And he connects with Houston. He's Houston, 21 yards, and they're inside the 10. First and goal, 18 seconds left to go. Echo Zuper in motion again. Here's Matthews. And he connects with Heath Houston. He jumps up and snags that one out of the air and falls into the end zone. And they score again before the half. It's a 38-7 lead. Kansas is being dismantled by TCU. Not only is TCU's offense excelling, but their defense has been great, great since the SMU game. But they're looking to run away with this one. Kansas is struggling. They've been struggling all season. They're coming off two losses, and they can't seem to keep up with TCU. TCU is a different team this season. Walker has completely turned them around, working towards their strengths. You would think that it would be mainly a rushing team for what he did at Baylor. But he's working towards Matthew's strength, knowing he's a good passer. When he's in the moment, when he's in the moment, and right now he is in the moment, and he is killing it. 202 yards through the air, but only 32 rushing yards. I mean, I just now noticed that, actually. They've been killing it in the passing game, despite it being raining a lot. But we'll see what they do in the second half. 
32 yards rushing is not a like a Noah Walker's offense. And here's Matthews handing it off to Hicks, who gets a nice run. TCU opening drive, picks up nine yards, second and one. Here is handing it off to Hicks, who's weaving his way through for first down. Oh, he's still going, brought down around midfield. Second and four, he's going to hand it off to Hicks again, who gets a first down, and he's been running it this entire drive. Third and seven, let's see what TCU does here. It is a screenplay to Hicks. He just has to avoid the defenders, and he does not get it. Brings on fourth down. They're going to go for it. Not close enough to the field goal for their freshman kicker. And Hicks is caught from behind. Flag on the play. It is on TCU, and they would be smart to decline that, of course. And it will be turnover on downs. Get a good drive going, but they couldn't pull through. Here's Darling handing it off to Spence, who's lit up by Tommy Miller. Third and 12, TCU's defense continuing to play strong. And he connects with Harmony, but he can't get the first down. And they're going to kick it to Gray. You gotta watch out for him. And here he is, making another dangerous return past the 50, and he's still going! And he's out around the 39-yard line. 29-yard return, second and 12. He's gonna pitch it to Hicks. Oh, he just takes an ankle with him. He's still going. Inside the red zone, brought, around, brought out around the, seven, the 16 yard line on the play action. Here's Tyler Matthews, and he connects with Burnett right over the defender's head. Defender got lost, and TCU scores again the fourth touchdown for Tyler Matthews. 45 to 7, TCU is just unstoppable right now. It's a rainy game, and there's Darling getting sacked by Derek Kindred. He's been a great safety, as I mentioned a few times this season. He's been really blossoming as well as a defender. And they connect with Hyman. They get the first down. Third and three. We have two minutes left to go in the third quarter. Kansas is down big. And there's Miller lighting up Darling. No gain. It brings on fourth down. Looked like no one was in front of Darling. He was going to get the first down, but he couldn't quite get it. Here's a return from Gray. He's weaving his way through. He's still going. He cuts inside. Defender is spun around. He's still going inside the 30, the 20, 10. And he's going to get into the end zone for another return. 86 yards punt return for Deontay Gray. What a return. Like I said, he's really, really just grown into the position. First and 10, here's Spencer, he's met immediately by a defender, lost three, second and 13. They can't run the ball, they can't pass too much, and here's Johnson, he gets enough for the first down, and he gets pushed out around the 43. Second and 10, 50 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Here's Darling, no pressure, and he connects with his receiver. Not sure if he had any feet in, but they didn't review that one. And it is a screen, but it's a loss of five on third down. Brings on four. TCU gets the ball back. 52 to 7. Last play of the third quarter. He's going to pitch it to Houston. And he picks up nine yards. That's going to end the third quarter. And TCU is up big. This crowd is hyped. They're excited. They're seeing a brand new TCU team this season. And they are really, really fixing what their weaknesses were since that. Great, great SMU game. 57-50 loss they had. But they're really making up for it now. He's going to hand it off to Taylor. And he gets the first down. And the second team offense is in the game. Here's Houston. Who had that nice touchdown earlier in the game. They're just trying to run out the clock. Five minutes to go. And he connects with Listen B for a first down. Third and five. They're not lighting it up in terms of yardage today TCU but they have a ton of points two of them were from Gray and that's gonna end the game TCU wins it Kansas can't really do much against them in a rainy game and Deontay Gray three total touchdowns 327 all-purpose yards he has been fantastic today one receiving one kick return and one punt return touchdown and TCU completely outplayed Kansas today they had one turnover but Kansas had two and that hurt them only 49 yards rushing Deontay great offensive player Tommy Miller defensive player of the game a sack and a fumble recovery Matthews 66 66 percent completion rate he's getting better four touchdowns multiple touchdowns for him and Hicks had 92 yards on 16 attempts and a touchdown not a big running game today Matthews with minus 12 
Deontay Gray with a touchdown. Burnett with two. And Listen B led with 85 yards on five receptions. Lawson, Miller, Nopum, and Kindred all had sacks. Great defensive effort today. And Darling had 54% completion rate, one touchdown, 208 yards through the air. 54 yards by Spencer, but minus 18 by Darling. Not a good running game, like I said. And Everett led the team with five receptions, 59 yards. TCU is back at home next week to take on UCF. Their second year in the Big 12. Their struggles continue. Stay tuned, guys.